This is an ABC7 editorial with Steve Sabato. The recent reclassification of the manatee from an endangered to a threatened species has raised quite a stir. Ironically, the change was announced on the heels of Manatee Appreciation Day, the last Wednesday of March. By way of definition, an endangered species is on the brink of extinction right now. A threatened species is likely to be on the brink in the near future. So, for example, if I am standing on a railroad track and a train is barreling down on me, I am in danger of immediate extinction. If I am stopped at the do not cross sign, but thinking about going for it, I am threatened and also stupid. Makes you wonder, why take the chance? Which is exactly what all the fuss is about. By way of background, the most recent study found there are 6,620 manatees living in Florida, an impressive increase from just over 1,200 back in 1991 when they began counting. That's the good news. The bad, over 400 manatee died last year, and other than birth-related deaths, boats, and get this, folks, red tide are the two biggest known causes. So what's the bottom line? First, this is good news for manatees and positive proof that public education and no-wake zones are working. Secondly, threatened species are still protected by most of the rules in the Federal Endangered Species Act, so we don't have to worry, immediately anyway, about any extinction for manatees. And finally, and most importantly, we do need to get to the bottom of the red tide situation for the sake of the manatee and all marine life. I do not buy the overly simplistic answer from many of our top marine research folks that red tide is not impacted by man-made pollution, especially when some of the biggest polluters in the state make huge donations to the same not-for-profit organizations. Regardless, the data is conclusive that the manatee does not meet the technical definition of endangered. That does not mean we can take it for granted. I'm Steve Sabato, and we'd like to hear from you. The opinions expressed in this editorial do not necessarily reflect those of ABC7's owners or management. If you would like to comment, go to our website, www.mysuncoast.com, and click Community.